not over. Uh, Todd, I, I can explain. You can explain what? I can explain that... Well, I know that you would rather be at the penthouse with Star, but I actually think that it's better if we're all here. I didn't say I wanted to be at the penthouse. What's the matter with you? Nothing. I, I just know that you probably feel more comfortable under your own roof. I don't know what you're talking about. What's wrong with you? Well, it's no use. I have to tell the truth. Tell the truth about what, Star? I know you always say I shouldn't lie. I didn't say that. Why would I say that to you? People lie all the time. What I said to you was that if somebody lies to you, you should try and figure out why they're lying. I don't want you whoa, whoa, whoa. to use... Why not? Anymore. Because... I hate it. You told Daddy you liked it. I lied. So... That, that's the lie you were talking about? Daddy, this thing is so ugly, it's embarrassing. Oh, I know. But why does that upset you now? Well, because uh, tomorrow, Grandma Addie's going to ask me if I still like it. And I'm going to have to lie again. So what? You know what? Star, that that's okay, because you just don't want to hurt her feelings. And you know what? Sometimes telling the truth is not such a good idea, especially if it's somebody that you love and you don't want to hurt. So sometimes it's better if we kind of just, like, leave that part out, you know? Right, I think I get it. Great, and you know what? I'll take this up and I'll, I'll put it in the attic for you, you know okay? What? You know what? Let me do it. I can catch some spiders while I'm up there. Oh, good idea, honey. You know what? I think you and I make a, a pretty good team with Star. Yeah. I think we do, too. You know, it meant a lot to me that she's back in my life. Yeah, well, I'm happy that Star is happy to have you back in her life. Thanks. Now that you're back, there's something that I, I need for you to see. Oh, I'll get the door. <laughs> Tell Hello. Him, Hi. Hello. Sign of the X, please. Sure. All right, Thank have you. a nice day. All right, you too. Okay. from David Vickers. The bundle has been delivered? Hmm. What bundle is he talking about? Why would David be sending me a telegram? Wait a minute, this is addressed to you, Todd. What's going on between you and David Vickers, huh? No kid could... Well, uh, David wanted me to, you know, go in on that investment thing. You're, you remember that, right? Okay, Todd, how much did you put into the little bundle? I don't know, some. I mean, it's not like I'm not going to get it back. No, wait, Todd. You know if David is involved, it fails. You know that, right? Well, he made a good pitch. A good pitch? I don't know. You, you were upset, and he wouldn't leave you alone, and, and so I in invested. It's, it's, it's no big deal. It's my money, okay? Well, okay, but... He said he was going to invest in the future of our children, right? Right. See, it's something like that, yeah. Well, you're right. I was upset about losing the baby, so I wasn't really listening. So you invested into the future of the child that we have? Right. Star. I mean, well, you know, Vickers got me thinking about the future. Well, who knows? <laughs> Maybe it'll work out. All I know is that... I am so grateful that you came to Mexico, Todd. I really am. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost everything. The baby, the star, and you. Look, you want this thing or not? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, close your eyes. 
Oh, no. Am I gonna like this, Todd? Hmm? You'd better. <laughs> All right. You can open your eyes. I'm in the picture. Yeah. Oh. So uh, it's you and me and and Star. But this one. It's different, Todd. Yeah. So. This one, I'm wearing a wedding ring. Todd, um, are you saying what I think you're saying? I don't know. Uh, what do you What do you think that I'm saying? Well, I think maybe. Are you asking me to marry you? Are you? Am I what? Are you asking me to marry you? You hear me asking? Ty, I know that declaring your feelings isn't your favorite thing to do. What feelings? You're afraid of being hurt. I mean, who isn't? But, you know, sometimes you have to go out and take a chance and say what's in your heart. Otherwise, the chance just maybe passes Don't your Don't get mind. all philosophical on me. Todd. You had a wedding ring hand-painted on my finger in the family portrait. I think that's a very romantic, sweet gesture. Yeah? You like that? But it's not enough. Come on, Todd, you've come this far. Why don't you take the next step? I'm... Just tell me, is this a marriage proposal? the baby? He was my brother. My whole brother. Oh, no, sweetie. I know that, but you know what? You, your daddy doesn't. I wonder what kind of treats daddy would give me if I told him. What, what are you doing? Pick one. Pick what? One future or the other. Oh, come on, what if, what, if I, what, if I, what if I pick the wrong one? Come on, huh? you're the one who just said that you gotta you gotta take chances, right? So pick one. Well, look, I'm, I'm nervous as it is here. I don't want to. Blair. Why don't, okay. Pick what? One. Okay. most beautiful ring I've I've ever seen. I think it's even prettier than the last one. Is that a yes? A yes. Question, Blair. Come on, Blair. Well, I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I, I, I don't know. I mean, look, I just don't think that I'm not saying yes right away because of you or anything. It's, it's me. Well, you're not asking you to marry you. I am. God, it's just, it's just the timing and everything. I mean, do I? Well, why do I have to give you an answer right now? No, 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 no hurry. Really, take your time. I mean, you can answer me any time in the next sixty seconds. Todd, we just got back from Mexico, and I just lost my baby. Okay, all right. Then you know what? Enough about the baby. The baby's gone. The baby's not coming back. But life goes on. And I've accepted that. What have you? What are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about you. Here you are asking me to marry you right after my son dies. And I just think, well, I can't help but wonder if maybe you feel that you owe me something. You're nuts. 
Come on, Todd, you delivered the little boy and he died and maybe, I don't know, maybe you feel responsible. You heard of it? No. You heard me. Just get rid of it. Why would I feel bad about the kid? Well, you, you shouldn't. I, I'm just saying that sometimes, well, guilt doesn't always make sense. You're the one who's not making any sense, Blair. Look, do you want it or not? I mean, it's not like I can bring it back, you know, because the guy I bought it from me probably packed up his cardboard box and moved to another corner by now. You want it? I am... Don't do it! 